Yo, what is up guys? It is Skarm, and for today's video, I'm going to be looking in it to the Season 2 Season Pass, and already I could see in the News tab some of the new cards. You could see Aspas, Romagnoli, and Keita. I'd assume those are the level 30 rewards, and maybe the other three are the level 15 rewards, which all of the cards do look pretty decent. One card does look better than the others, and that would, of course, be the center back on the right side. Apart from that, not the greatest of cards, especially considering it does take quite a while to unlock these cards. But here we go, live look at the new season pass, first looks at it. So level 1 is 75 plus pack, a coin boost after that, we got a 7.5k pack, nothing too great. For the 4th tier, I mean it's just TFOs, nothing too special, we got another 75 plus pack, so nothing too special so far. Uh, got more badges now, nothing special once again. Jumbo Gold, a 26 pack, which is pretty decent, but it's at level 7. The next thing is going to be a couple of TFOs, which in my opinion, just once again, nothing too special, nothing too great. Uh, then we got a Gold Players pack. All of these packs, of course, are going to be untradeable. The ball actually does look pretty interesting. I actually do enjoy that and like that design. Level 10, so not too bad. Then we got two more badges to choose between and a couple stadium themes. Uh, level 13 has a 75 plus pack. Not sure why they've put so many 75 plus packs rather than even like a gold pack to be honest. Uh, level 14 small prime gold players pack so a half a 45k pack. Level 15 like we've seen before we have Atello from Benevento so that is going to be the Serie A player. And then we have this Korean player which I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name honestly. Doesn't look the greatest. Not not sure why I can't really look into his stats. I'll probably go into concept and show you guys all the player stats later on in the video. And for the third option, and in my opinion, like I was saying before, this is probably the best looking card, of course, 56 dribbling. So we're going to have to definitely look into that in the concepts to actually look into the in-game stats. However, so far, base stats do look pretty good. Might be a decent player. Even the Tello card, he actually does look pretty good. It also does link with the Rule Breakers Quadrado. In my opinion, the Bundesliga player, however, nothing too great. So now we continue on with the season pass. The next options are going to be a couple more TFOs, background TFOs, of course. In my opinion, nothing too special. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Don't really enjoy the artwork here. Uh, when you guys look in to the level 17 tier, you're going to get yourself a 25k pack. After that, you get yourself another 25k pack. So back to back. 25k packs then we have a donut ball which is actually pretty interesting i actually do just enjoy some of these more random and i don't know more cartoonish type of things so now we move on to level 20 rare electron players pack nothing too special in my opinion at this point in the season pass i feel like we should be getting a little better packs than that however the next thing is going to be a couple more badges the high noon badge honestly doesn't look too bad same thing can be of course said with the stadium theme of course i would have to actually see it properly in the stadiums but it doesn't look too bad the hard boiled actually does look pretty nice as well when you guys look in it to level 23 you get yourself a 35k pack also known as a mega pack Level 24, we get ourselves a 45k pack, and this is around the mark where most people maybe finish. Look in it to level 25, I actually do really like this TFO, I actually do think it looks very, very good. The high noon one looks pretty good as well, but I would definitely be picking that hard boiled, it looks pretty badass. When you look in it to level 26, just the same thing, same themes and stuff like that. When you guys look in it to the level 27 reward, you guys have the option of picking a 45k pack. That is themed either for La Liga, Bundesliga, or the Premier League. Of course, I'm sure many people would be picking the Premier League, as there are many great players in the league, of course. Level 28, no options. You are forced to take this. Same thing with 29. And of course, for the thing that everyone has been waiting for, the level 30 rewards. We've seen it before, and here we go look at it properly. We have Iago Aspas, which was a decent starter striker. I wouldn't say he's going to be very good. How many days? 42 days from now. Do I think that's going to be a great card? 
so the end of december i really don't think so he'd probably just be good for a couple objectives to help you do like maybe icon swaps or something like that but honestly not too great Ramagnoli, if he had that 80 pace or something like that i would say this is a very very good card however 74 pace in a month and a half from now doesn't sound too great and for the final one which is gonna be nabi keita it looks like a fun card but once again just 42 days from now i don't think this is really nice and of course in terms of fodder value keita is the worst option to pick out probably be picking roman Gnoli because he is an 86 rated center back card versus the 85 rated keita but we will see in 42 days from now what i actually do pick but i'll go into concepts and show you guys a couple of the in-game stats for the new players that have been released well unfortunately guys the players aren't actually in concepts i'm not sure what ea is doing get yourself together come on ea sports you guys are pretty bad honestly at doing your job but yeah unfortunately i can't show you guys the in-game stats of any of the players you guys will probably have to do that on your own time and when ea actually do decide to release it in it to concepts but yeah guys that is gonna be the video please make sure to like comment and subscribe and i will see you next time peace out